Hello guys and welcome back to lead logics. This is the find if path exists in graph problem from lead code and the number for this is 1971. So let's start with the question. So in this question there is a bidirectional graph with n vertices where each vertex is labeled from 0 to n minus 1 and it is inclusive. The edges in the graph are represented as 2D integer array edges where edges of i equal to u, ui and vi that denotes uh, there is a bidirectional edge between the vertex ui and the vi so if there is a 2d integer ed edges and uh, it consists of nodes ui vi so there is a bidirectional edge between ui and vi so every vertex pair is connected uh, by at most one edge and no vertex has edge to itself so there is no self looping in the graph so we want to determine if there is a valid path that exists from source to destination or not. Given edges and the integers n, source destination return true if there is a valid path from source to the destination or false otherwise. So the basic intuition or the problem what asks is that we have to determine if there is a valid path from source to destination and using the edges which, we, which is a bidirectional graph. We can approach this problem by traversing the graph using a depth first search or a breadth first search and keeping a check on the visited array and if we reach from source to destination. So I am going to use a depth first search in this uh, in this problem. So the how we will do this is that we will first initialize a visited array and then we will traverse until the, uh, the traverse using the depth for search and make sure that there are any changes or not in the visited array. If not, we can simply move out of the loop and print false. Otherwise, we can check if uh, within each iteration of the loop uh, we have reached from source to destination or not. And if we have reached the destination, we can return true. Otherwise, we can return false. So let's see how we are going to do this. So the First of all, there is a special case if there is only one vertex. That means there is no edge, there is only one vertex. Then in that case, what we are going to do? So, in that case, the edge's length will be zero because there is only one vertex and there can be no uh, edge on the same vertex. So, we can simply return true from here because this will be the source and this will be the destination. So this will be always true. Otherwise, we will create a boolean uh, visited array. And, uh, and this will be new boolean. And we can take the size of n, that is the number of edges. Then we have the flag. Now I'll tell you why we are having this flag here, and we'll keep it true. So visited of source equal to true. So we are we are starting from source. So we'll mark uh, the source as true because uh, we'll take this as we have visited the source. So now we will be iterating over the flag no, not iterating over the flag we will keep the flag as the test condition if the flag becomes false we will break the loop and we have kept this flag because we want to check if while iterating there is a iteration in which there is no change in the visited array then in that case this means that there will be no more further change in the visited array so we, we need not go on iterating over this and we can simply move out of the loop so that's why we have kept this flag so here we keep flag equal to false and if there is a change in the visited we will keep, make the flag true otherwise we will keep it as false so now for int we will iterate in the edges we will take a particular edge in the edges now if visited of edge of 0 
is not equal to visited of edge of 1 that means it is not marked as visited then we will simply mark this as visited and we'll keep the flag equal to true because we have made some changes to the visited we'll make the flag true and while moving out of the loop we'll simply check if visited of destination if while iterating we move we reach the destination then we need not do anything we simply need to return true because we have reached the destination otherwise even after this we do not get the destination we have to return false so this is a pretty simple code let's try to run it so there has been so there is a spelling mistake i'm sorry for that and here it will be visited let's see if it runs now so yeah it turns let's try to submit it so yeah it runs with a very good time complexity and a good space complexity so the time complexity for the solution is o of n plus e the number of edges and the space complexity is o of n plus e as well and you can also check the Java, C++, Python and JavaScript code by going to the solutions panel and checking this solution. So in this solution you can find the intuition, the approach, the complexity, Java code, C++, Python, JavaScript and yes do remember me to upvote. So I hope you understood the logic this is a pretty simple code. I will try to be regular from now in the daily questions. So thank you for watching the video have a nice day.